Hey guys, um, just an update here. Uh, I'm filming this from my bed. I've not been very well the last few days. Yep, even the mighty can fall from time to time. Um, I've eaten something or something's gone on with my guts. Don't like it. But another annoying thing is happening as well. Um, life usually does perform multiple hit combos rather than just single blows. Um, iMovie has started to suck really suddenly with its latest update. The minute the update went on, it just crashes all the time. Pretty common problem by the looks of the um, the help uh, forums as well. So I'm sure they'll fix it in the next update, but that could be a little way away. So until then, it's either this stuff or if I can save up for a Final Cut Pro, maybe it's time that I made the jump to that. Who knows? So that's why I'm talking to you on my phone right now. So anyway, um, so I thought I would go through what we can expect in the near future though from my channel. Um, I've already filmed numerous reviews on some cool flix, fixed blade knives. So you've got a Fiddleback Forge, um, Duke, you've got a uh, Bravo 1.5 uh, review, you've got a uh, Enzo Camper review. They're all filmed, they're just on my computer crashing every time I even look at them sideways. And then in terms of folders, we've got the following. So our Benchmade Contego will get reviewed. This one had an interesting out-of-box experience. Classic Benchmade. Uh, we've got a Benchmade bug out. This is that ultra light little Benchmade. Weighs very, very little. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting little knife. I really like it actually. It's got um, yeah, it's got a really good shape and size to it. Um, the lightness is probably one of the things I don't like as much about it. Interestingly enough, but we'll talk more about that in the video review. And then we've got the the Gerber Index, and this thing is just hilarious. Um, so this is Gerber's first flipper knife. I've already filmed the review of this, but I'm maybe stuck. Um, I think it's a really good looking knife, but as you'll see in the review, there are some real, real problems with it, like the kind of problems. And then lastly, oh no, second to last, the Kaiser Begletier. Now this taught me an important lesson that I'm not allowed to enter Instagram competitions because I just entered it. I was like, oh yeah, I'll enter that. I've got like 800 followers on Instagram, so I didn't, wouldn't think that I'd instantly be assumed to be a YouTuber, but I guess it does say I'm a YouTuber on my profile. And Kaiser chose me as the winner. Whether or not that was a choice of theirs from just the true random environment or whether it was because I'm a YouTuber and they want a review of the knife, I don't know. But you know, we're all critical thinkers, so you can see how that conversation turned in the comments. So needless to say, I won't be doing that anymore, and I'll be giving this one away just to, just to remove any... Um, any suspicion but it's a really nice knife so it's unfortunate but there you go um, nice little VG10 slim pocketable little beastie there uh, and lastly this is a new knife from Rake this is the P831SF continuing the traditions of of highly memorable uh, model names the Chinese have done it again um, and this is a really interesting little and really cool looking you must admit that's a very cool looking knife um, little sort of Warncliff reverse tanto sort of thing going on. Uh, not a flipper, it's just a thumb stud opener. It's a frame locking uh, little knife. It's got a... The, op the way to open it, I'll have to show you in the video. Actually, I'll show you now in case you've already bought this knife. Um, you need to just not put any pressure on it. It's like the ZT0450. Can't touch this lock frame here. The, the leaf spring, because the detent is just too strong otherwise, and you just will have a real hard time getting it open if you push, if you offer counter pressure. So you need to sort of like rest your finger down towards the back of the knife and then it slides open really well. Anyway, so that knife will get reviewed as well. Um, the, the, the Dickhead Survival is coming back, don't worry about that. Uh, the next Dickhead Survival is going to be like a voyage rather than an overnighter. So traveling along, I'm going to wait for the next stinking hot like 40 degree day and to take like a 20 or 30k walk from one place to another place and survive it in the heat. So that should be interesting. Um, and the multi-tool got uh, one got selected from the poll about what I take. So I'll be taking like a Leatherman Surge or something similar to that. Get a Gerber Center Drive if I want to be really cruel with myself and not bring any woodworking tools. So yeah, so that's coming up. Um, there is still things happening, don't worry. It's just um, the iMovie just kicked me in the dick a little bit. So yeah, sorry to say, but um, I'll continue doing mobile phone reviews, just drip feeding your stuff until... You know, I'll try and still do a few videos a week until um, iMovie's back to, you know, whatever the standard state is, or until I can work out 
something else with regard to some better video editing software for Mac, because that's what I have. Alright dudes, live long and prosper. I'll uh, see you later.